I just can't take this whole thing into account so much and make it so dramatic. It is dramatic. It's somebody trying to end my life. It's somebody trying to end who I am as a person. It's somebody trying to take over my mind, putting thoughts of pet. This disgusting, disgusting, disgusting things. And you saw where I was going with that first word. Disgusting things that I don't even want to talk about because it makes me sick. I don't even like those words in my mind. But it is what it is. So I have no choice now but to acknowledge that there are people in my in my surroundings or whatever they're doing. I don't know. Also a form of sensory deprivation which will be discussed later. Days and weeks lose their meaning. 6. Sexually disturbing tailored pornography. The summary of the Senate torture report disclosed the disgusting revelations that in the secret torture derogatory to their lifestyle and similar mental images. Almost all targets are forced to view child pornography in their minds. And vice versa is true. I also experience what is referred to as malodorance. This is the alteration of the smell sensation so that I am often made to smell various things, including smoke, burning, dirty diaper, or baby powder, which they sometimes combine with the pedophilia type of torture, including the threat of planted dreams and videos in my closed eyes. Specific foods, voices, noises, and music directly into my mind to communicate with me in real time and at the speed of thought. And it also includes the manipulation of thoughts, emotions, and perceptions in the person's mind. Additionally, the targeting is all highly perverted and sexual, as well as destructive and violent. Rec not knowing what to do other than to just cradle the totally flaccid arm in my other hand while screaming. Graphic images and videos, including highly disturbing pedophilia type of images and videos when I close my eyes. It also includes videos of violence, not knowing what to do other than to just cradle the totally flaccid arm in my other hand while screaming hysterically, and then it quickly returned to normal but left me very traumatized. Something they have been doing for about the past four months or so has been the symptoms of a yeast infection, which they turn off or on, as well as up or down in severity. Right after nearly every shower and sometimes during the shower, they do severe symptoms of a yeast infection, sometimes making me scratch my genitals so much that it leaves my genitals painfully raw, making it hard to walk or sit or go to the bathroom. I would now like to talk about the people around me being manipulated by these electronic weapons as well. There does not appear to be a need for microchips or nanotechnologies to manipulate the minds and bodies of, of anyone around me anywhere in the world, which I have repeatedly witnessed. For example, they make people around me burp, hiccup, and sneeze repeatedly, especially the sneezing because the V2K says it's like an orgasm, so they make people around me sneeze excessively to threaten more sexual assaults. I am currently a speech language pathologist working in private practice with young children. I had a seven year old client who has autism and she was the most significantly affected of all of my clients. I eventually had to tell this client to go to another clinic and they used her to threaten the most torture in me as well as their most extreme forms of torture. For several months, she would cry and scream horribly during our therapy sessions despite having a great day at school. This was highly unusual behavior for her, as she usually behaved very well during her therapy sessions and had been making incredible progress on all of her therapy goals. This was used to threaten extreme torture on me, making me scream and cry, etc. They would make the kids act out the kinds of torture that would later be done on me. For example, they would also sometimes make her bite her hand, threatening to make me bite my hands, as they often do. One day she had a large, severe bite mark on her arm. She has also grabbed her crotch saying, ow, and this was used to threaten me with severe sexual torture. <clears throat> one day I was observed, one day I also observed her gasping for air a few times in the same way that I do when I am being more severely suffocated. 
The suffocation had been in a mild state for a while up until this point. Many of their torture methods are cyclical in severity. Right after I saw this child being suffocated, then I began to experience very extreme suffocation all day, every day for about two months straight. And that's also when they made it worse when I eat. Then I also work with a four-year-old little girl with Down syndrome, as well as her five-year-old sister who also has Down syndrome. I observed both of these girls suddenly grabbing their genitals in pain and verbalizing, ow. I observed oh, sound like an angry ass old person. You know, then a couple of days later, a female said the same thing. Don't get shot in the face. You know, stupid shit like that. But what I really noticed is with the voice of skull, it's a bunch of females. You know, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> really? You're not a woman. What? real woman would stalk another female. Involving children, says BuzzFeed, including the viewing, the viewing of images of abuse, have been uncovered at other agencies that handle sensitive information. In a November 2009 report, the Department of Defense acknowledged that dozens of Pentagon staff members or contractors had such images. In 2014, the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community found that two officials from the National Reconnaissance Office, which oversees... America's spy satellites acknowledge viewing images of child sexual abuse during polygraph examinations. This is so disturbing. At a symposium in 2016, Daniel Payne, a top Pentagon security official, said that when workers' computers were examined, the amount of child porn I see is just unbelievable. Is this something that is happening for whatever reason with more frequency um, in our intelligence agencies? Or is this something that is more pervasive in the general population than I originally realized. I mean, what's going on here? This is Look, so I bizarre mean, remember, and so evil. Ali, we're told, and I, when I was put through recruitment into the intel community, you know, you're put through polygraphs, you're put through a rigorous election process. Why aren't these people weeded out? Why are so many right. pedophiles allowed to be given top level security clearance. Remember, these aren't just people walking in off the street and saying, hey, can I get hired? Can I get a job? You're put through an extremely rigorous background check screening process. It's called an SSBI single scope background investigation. There are people, they interview you, they interview your family, they interview your contacts, they go through your online footprint, they go through everything. So why is it that when they're going through these footprints, they're not checking, these digital footprints, they're not checking for so many pedophiles getting through their ranks. If it were up to me, you need to go into Congress and Congress needs to launch a brand new church committee, number one, to talk about domestic surveillance operations, but number two, to ask the question, why are there so many pedophiles sitting behind those computer screens within the walls of Langley, within the Pentagon, and throughout the broader intelligence community? Six-year-old, he was simply fired. One employee purchased sexually explicit videos of young girls filmed by their mothers. He resigned. One employee estimated that he had viewed up to 1,400 sexually gives, And like you said, only one actually served any jail time for this. One employee had sexual conduct. This is one employee of the CIA had sexual contact with a two-year-old and a six-year-old. He was simply fired. One employee purchased sexually explicit videos of young girls filmed by their mothers. He resigned. One employee estimated that he had viewed up to 1,400 sexually abusive images of children while on agency assignments. Not sure what actions, if any, were taken by him. One contractor arranged for sex with an undercover FBI agent. I think that you mentioned that. Posing as a child, he had his contract revoked. One CIA staffer was charged with child sexual crimes, and the employee was also under investigation for mishandling classified material. The CIA did not answer detailed questions, saying only that the agency takes all They had violated me for so long. I decided to aggravated them with words in my mind. I can hear my own voice. I told them I'm going to make you pay for all of the years of torture that I've taken and all you are going to hear is aggravation for every single second of my privacy that you have taken away from me and my family. Then said this the slaves began a program of perversion. First was with my dog. I am very playful with my pet and suddenly one day that I was petting him I felt strange in the sense of the word. 
I thought, this is strange, and then afterwards that strange sensation continued, then in that moment I realized that was impost, so I thought, look at this losers, don't know how to put me down, and they are doing this. So I told them that I know what you are trying to do, and I started laughing, and then I said again out loud, you'll never take my will, ass, so just to show them that I meant what I said, I kept playing with my dog, and even though that attacks continue, I don't let them get me. Today, they continue with the programming of perversion, but this time they are aiming in the use. A people, better said young people, also children and So, like I said, uh, I will continuously make videos as much as I can. And I'm just realizing that as these people continuously do the same thing they've been doing since day one, it's funny how they like tell themselves, oh, we proved it, we proved it. Listen, I've been saying what they're doing to me since 2020, right? I look back in my first video, it's been actually three years, right? And so listen to these people, who somehow think that, oh, now, now we have so much proof. Like, as if what I said in 2020, not exactly what's happening today. And you see that these people have the same patterns, obviously my targeting, but others. And it's just like, listen to these people, it's like, I will present it so much. It's like, yeah, every day you manipulate me to experience these things. So if you say every day we're showing what you've done to me, or so whatever. And they try to make me believe that, you know, like we're, we're proving it. And I was like, listen, what you're doing to me is what you've been doing to me for a while. And I've been, thankfully, I just want to be thank. I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to at least tell and talk about what was, was, well, what was happening to me. I'm glad that my testimonial was heard, or at least was, I was able to provide that. You know, I was able to speak about what was happening to me, even if a few people just watched it. Uh, and I'm glad that I got a chance to, to say that. And now I listen to these people who try to somehow think that now it's proving it. But before it wasn't. Like, you're still doing the same thing. And I've been saying that for, for a long time now, three years or so. At least that's what I've been saying. That's when I've been starting to making these videos. Uh, they started on uh, in, in 2019. My first video was, was in July 2020. And so looking back now, it's like, yeah, it's the same thing they've, they've been doing. It's nothing new, right? That's the, that's the things they do to me. That's what they've been doing to others. And it's nasty. All throughout yesterday, you see the videos of different moments. They force me to experience in different ways, giving sensation, stimulation. There's one more part, the, the saddest part is the last one. When you see like a little kid, this is a little black girl who's maybe seven years old, right? I'm given a seven-ish years old or so. These girls have like, this little girl, this a black little girl has like a, like a, some kind of like bandages all around her head <laughs> and you see this basketball player Shaquille O'Neal lifting her when they did that they made me imagine some different these disgusting stimulations and like you know we match it's you if that's how you feel it's you or something like that and give me even stimulations or give me a sensation that you know that's how you feel if you if 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 you lift that little girl you feel this way and give me stimulations of that of 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 whatever they give me make me experience which is them making me experience that of course i know it's not naturally happening and these people making me experience this can you imagine they make you imagine lifting this little girl and give you that weird stimulation so giving you a scenario of you carrying this kid and then give you stimulation of that and it's like that's how you feel and give you like, and try to make you imagine it. Like, how would you feel that? How would I? And knowing that these people are gonna create stimulation, that's the kind of things they do. And said, so now we proved it. Now you understand these people obviously do the perfect type of torture. And they try to find ways to make me have these battles back and forth. And these people are delusional. Of course, I know that's what you make me experience. This is how I experience these things because you make me imagine and feel these ways. It's disgusting. It's almost like, I remember when there was like a, like little dogs that jumped on me. Like a little, a little like dog. They gave me this weird feeling toward the little dog. Tiny little thing. And now they try to make me imagine the same feeling toward this kid. That they, it's so bizarre. 
and you, you, you got to accept that this thing is what they do. And they try to get you to have a bottle. It's like, no, we proved it. Look, that's how you feel. That's how you feel if you, you lift this kid. This kid. I was like, of course I know it's what you make me experience. I know. They try to give me the sensations like, no, if you feel like that, if you feel like that. And you, I'm like, you are making me experience this feeling. You are making me experience this. And then sometimes they try to find credibility because what they do is they try to make you accept these manipulations by giving you a feeling that you will actually feel. Like they brought up some like memories of me when I was in like in uh, in another country. In my video in action twenty twenty in October twenty twenty, I talk about how they do these things with memories where they can actually provide you the real memories. And then they can give you a falsified real, a falsified memory. This falsified memory is added with stimulation and whatever, but they can give you the real feeling that you felt when you were like in this country, the air and the, the, the way you, you're feeling at that time. And this is usually when I was a kid. So they gave me the feeling of what I was like in, in uh, kindergarten, elementary. And it's like, you see, it's like, no, this, I know you have the ability to, to do this. I know the sophistication of this technology. And now what you make me think is when I see this kid that's wrapped up that Shaquille O'Neal is carrying up, you giving me this, this stimulation. And they try to be, it's try to make me say, no, you felt like that when you were like, when you were like, um, eh, that's so nasty. When you were like a, a, a middle schooler. No, you were making me feel this way. And they're making me imagine carrying a little girl and a little girl wrapping her legs around me and then give me stimulations. This is the things they do. And try to get you to have like, how would you feel? Oh, well, not like this. That's what you make me feel. And try to make me experience how I would naturally feel. And you see, they're making me scratch because when they do this thing, it's like, it's supposed to be like, oh, he's lying. You see, he's scratching himself. And it's just nonsensical. It's just nonsensical. And they're like, oh, they're, he'll see. He's going to feast you and he's going to stand on it. Because these people, what, what, what's happening is they obviously do the pedophilia type of torture. They think the torture I'm going to experience is going to be like a validation. And they're like, ha, 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 yes. It's like, whatever is happening to me, whatever I'm going to get uh, experience. And some trash is telling me about castrating and all. I was like, I'm going to get my genitals cut up in pieces if that's what's going to happen. Then do these things where you force grown men and women to, 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 to experience these nasty simulations. They're renowned for this pedophilia type of torture. Of course, you're going to hear that after this. They're enough for doing these nasty things. And they think that this torture is gonna make me accept this. They torture children too. So I'm talking to people who are here falsifying your perception, your reaction to things, knowing that's, that's, I know that's not me. I've been saying that since 2020. Matter of fact, before, yeah, 2020, 2019 I already know it was not me. 2020 I was already re reaching out to people, trying to, to, to talk to. So of course now I know. And they try to be like, oh, this, he's going to feast you. <laughs> I was like, okay. You know what? I'm so, I'm so, I, I, I so want them to never live that fantasy that will run toward that. Whatever torture I'm going to go through. And they know this. You know what they would try to co do to counter it? Because every time I was seeing a kid, they would try to create some perceptions of some fear things. Give you, me, make me feel like hard to see what I'm seeing. So making it hard for me to, to, to see what, things for what they are. Creating these diff different perceptions. Every time I see, look at a child, every time. There was like all the kids, like teenage kids, that like chatted me for a second. Like I was, it took me a second to just kind of process that I'm seeing a kid and then finally able to see that. Then I see little kids and they try to create this stimulation that was like nonstop. So like I said in 2020. And you hear this trash like, oh, use her mouth. To try to make me subscribe to these things, try to talk about me as a kid and try to exaggerate this to, to this level. And like, oh, you'll cry. It's like, I'll be screaming, I'll be crying, I'll be yelling. But one thing is for sure, I'm just thankful that I didn't have to work and do the pedophile things these people do. They're renowned for this pedophile type of torture. They're renowned for what they do. They're renowned for it. Regardless how you feel or how I feel, that's what they do. They do the pedophile type of torture. That's why you're going to hear what I'm going to say. That's why you're going to hear the testimonies. They do these things. And it's nasty. And they work for pedophiles. These people are filled with pedophiles on top of these entities. These people are renowned for their pedophile type of torture. They're trash. 
me, I'm going to make, if I have to make thousands of thousands of videos every day, for, and it's, it's, it's okay. Because I want to make it clear that what they do to me is what they've been doing to others. What they do to me is what they've been doing since day one. How I'm experiencing things, how I'm perceiving things, how I'm feeling things. All of that is manipulated. And they try, they try to get credibility by like some, every once in a while give you like something that actually is real. real. And then be like, oh, you see, you see that's feeling real. So they're just feeling like that. That's how you feel. And you hear this trust, oh, they're like, oh, they're going to feast you and it's going to stand on it. Because this, these people are just bottom feeders. They're trash that work for pedophiles. And they think that, oh, we'll prove this so much. You've been doing the pedophilia type of torture forever. It doesn't take much. It literally does not take much. Everything that I'm going to everything from the weird sensations, the, the, the weird stimulations, to the pedophilia type of th uh, thoughts, to the, 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 all of that, the ch child porn implanted in your mind, all of that has been said by others. This perception toward children, oh, all of this, it's been all said to others. It's all been done to others. And they even, even the people that contract, these childlike individuals, same. And they, when they, um, they're like, oh, we got all of that, all the things, like, yes, since 2020, since 2019, you have all these things that you've been experiencing since 2019. Since 2019, since August 19, 2019, all of that that you've been doing to me. Do you understand? I'm, and I've been making videos since 2020. And they're like, no, no, they're going to abuse you. Try to stop me from saying that I've been saying the th same things like that since 2020. Some of them were not even involved in my, in my targeting yet. So now they look stupid. It's like, oh, no, all that we proved. It was like, yeah, you weren't even there when I was talking about it the first time. It's like they, they, they really block our reality in a way that's like, it's like they're going to rape you. It's like, okay, what's going to happen to you? You don't, just, you don't even want to know, huh? That, that's, they have the ability to stop reality. And they use these child people. There's these people who fantasize reality instead of accepting reality of what they're part of. They try to tell themselves they were at war. Poof! A bunch of bottom feeders, coward, low-life pedophiles. This trash that will, some of them will die before I even die. Some of them have, will kill themselves before I even die. I mean, they, they're talking the week, as the, we'll talk about the week of the week. And me now, like, looking at the videos I've made, like, so long ago, like, three years ago, and these people are just like, not real, it's here. It's, it's like, yeah, okay. Now it's real. But what I was talking about in 2020 is fake. You got to see them for what they are. And so now I'm going to continuously make videos. And, now, you know, I was scrolling down all the, because I make a lot more videos now, which is okay, which is... I want to, to have a long, long, long pattern of the obvious things they've been doing to me. Because, like, am I saying something? It's, it's not magical. Every time I'm going to look at a child, they're going to do some nasty thing. When they say black little girl, I'm supposed to be like, oh, this is real because black little girl, and they try to give me these stimulations and give me sensations, and they're like, oh, do we chuck it back to you as a kid? Then now they try to, like, make it, incorporate that into my adulthood. So they try to, like, make me feel that in my memories it's like a it's the falsification stuff that you do and they they are acting accordingly they're using children like child like people if anything it's more agitating than believable it's like you're just bottom feet it's just good cowards low life i see them for the people who've been tortured children i know that what they're capable of doing it doesn't take much that's why now it's like yeah i see them it's like i see you see you it's not like it's, they can't even like play, like, and you're gonna hear what they do to kids. This is what I see. This is what I see when I see, hear this trash. That's what they're like cranking up the door open, like, oh, you're bomb, you're da da. You're... That's, what is, that's what's happening. These bottom feeders that work for pedophiles that have been torturing children and women, that cowards that live behind those, those doors. I'm not gonna let them escape. They are losers. It's funny how they call me like, you're gonna bomb and whatever. It's like, I'd rather starve to death because these people are damn near bombs in different fashion. Their job consists of sitting there and trying to make you accept this falsifier of manipulations, this BS. What kind of life is that? 
This is humiliating. It's degrading. I'm being degraded with the way I'm forced to perceive and react to things. These people are degrading trash. You know what they're saying now? The person that's going to torture you, he's going to stand on it. It's like, where do you stand on then? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he, what, what about you? <laughs> They're so delusional. It's like, yeah, you know you're trashed. Because you day in and day out hear yourself being the trash that you are. You hear this trash outside trying to make you subscribe to these things, these bottom fears that work for pedophiles. And now they are here trying to make me subscribe to these things and give me stimulation sensations. That makes no sense. Try to, I'm like, no, we match it. You, you, you manipulate me into experiencing this. Like I said, in 2020. Who, what kind of self-respect the men and the women can do this? Trash. These people are going to die. That's what, I, like, I forget, like, I, I forget how delusion. These people are literally dedicating their life doing these things. And then they're going to fucking die. Excuse my language. I'm talking about some weak low lives that obviously know that they do a type of torture. Their job was to make me accept this thing. And they, they're excited about me getting feasted. That's what the, the things they say. Listen to how miserable life is for them. They are miserable to that level. And then try to find, okay, how go, okay, we're going to do this. Go manipulate him to get pedophilia things. That's their life. And then they're going to die. But you, and it's funny, it's like, oh, then you want, like, listen, listen to this loser. And it's like, then, then you're going to lose. This is winners who are trying to get you to accept this pedophilia type of tormenting that are in a program to torture children and women. Cowards. You see them in person. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I, I feel like I'm a, like a, 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 a prophet. I feel like I'm a, like a, 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 some kind of magical being when I see them. Because it's just, oh my gosh, it's even so obvious. And then you have these people who try to kind of find ways to counter it, but try to sound smart every once in a while. I'm like, oh, she just know. It's sad. I'd rather die being tortured, die, then live the life they live, de degrade yourself, and then who knows what's gonna happen before you die, which most likely bad things will happen. It's for sure. <laughs> it's like, I'm not magical, for sure. What do you think when you dedicate your life doing these horrible things to people? Try to force people to think in these particular ways and be so cowardly about it too. Like these people are just, no, they don't even want to be seen. They're, like, they're yelling from the, they're yelling from outside of the, from, from their door, from inside the apartment. This level of consistency, level of degrading self-degradation, of cowardness, and then try to sound so brave, and then you'll eat, and then like, and then you'll die. But you see them, whoo, the, the cowardness, you can see them shaking, you can see them being embarrassed. You see them just, just awkwardly, just not even know what to do with themselves. It's just too much. And they want me to subscribe to this thing, this little girl that's with like bandage all around her head. They lift her and then they give me some stimulation and give me some sensations. Like, we proved it, we matched it. And you hear who's, who's talking about it. It's like, and then we match. And then we watch you. They're like, please do. Then you die. Some of these people will die before I die. Some already have. I'm telling you, it's insane to know that people who dedicate their life some people have been wasting their life doing these things to me. And some of them end up kill up, ki ki killing themselves. There's a man that I remember who was just like make mocking me. And I remember I was just so pissed up. I was like, look at him. I was like getting super frustrated. Next thing I know, oh, he has some demons. He killed himself. You understand? And this trash who are so delusional who live day in and day out to force you to experience this nastiness and try to make you believe that it's you, you know, it's you, you abuse. Try to talk about me as a child and create some exaggerations and then try to add memories with stimulations that are falsified. Then now as a grown man, they're like, no, it's you. They're in a program that is abusing, torturing, frying, radiating babies. And they know I know that. And then they try to make me accept these nasty stimulations. Two. You understand? Because now, when I see them, they know that I'm seeing them for what they do to even children. The same trash here, they try to sound innocent. I did that. That's how they sound. When they try to sound 
like, would I do that with my voice? Something like that. Yes. This is the trash, the groom to do these things. This trash talking to me will be doing this to a woman or a child. And they want you as a grown man to accept this nasty stimulation that they claim that you ma they matched when you were a kid. When your brain is just rewired, manipulated, all kind of nastiness just changed into, and every time you look at a kid, different type of stimulation, manipulation, and perceptions are applied to create a nasty pedophilia reaction to it. Then it's disturbing. And then you hear this trash that are contracted by the government all around you, try to get you to subscribe to this. Death comes to all of us. If I die like this, this is a dignified death. I don't care if somebody poop on me, pee on me, smack me, stab me. This is dignified. This life is the most indignified, trashy life. Yesterday, every time I was looking, oh, pedophilia type of torture, oh, pedophilia type of torture, oh, pedophilia. anything a challenge, like, oh, yeah, all of this, we're gonna show all of that. I was like, this, be, this has been happening since 2019, August 19, 2019. What do you mean? So now we, now we have so much now. It's like, this is what exactly is gonna happen. This is what you're gonna hear me talking about in my first video. Three years ago. And then now they're like, oh, but, the, and then start to create battles. I was like, no. You see, you know what's the battle? Take this, stop, remove this nothing. Let me be myself and watch the battle. Of course not. There's no battles. It's my brain. It's hacked by these people who manipulate you to experience disgusting ways, to push you to kill yourself. And then he said, no, we match it. We match it to you as a kid. And so, no, you manipulate my brain to experience this nastiness. And like black girl, because when they say black girl, it's supposed to be, supposed to be true. This low life pedophile is renowned for this pedophile type of torture. And try to get you to subscribe to black girl, and they try to make me think, okay, hi. And they make, they make me imagine caring and imaginary little black girl and give me stimulations. That they make me experience. It's like, you see, we matched it. Uh, how is that supposed to exp experience this? With you guys in my brain? This is delusional. They don't... They, they use this trash that are easily... Es can escape from a, a false... Of, like a reality that is just something else. And you, you hear these bottom feeders that, that have been making people being homeless, even women, <laughs> telling you you're dumb. L listen, what are you? This is life? This is how you make a living. This is how you get your paycheck. It's so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> this is so de dehumanizing. It's, it's self dehumanizing. They dehumanize themselves. It's so degrading. It's trying to get you to like, <laughs> like what? I'm aware of what you guys do to women and children. I'm aware you do the perfect type of torture. I'm, I'm aware that you manipulate people to experience this nastiness. If I end up starving to death on the street, thank God I had this opportunity to speak and talk about it. I could have been living life like them and try to normalize these pedophilia things they do. It's like, no, we match and use this child like people. If your coworker can be a 13 year old, you know that she, this, this, this is some BS. If your, your partner, your colleague is a child, you know you're in the, this is BS. You have this grown ass woman and men try to make you accept this. It's like, you understand that note? Of course he can use this child. This, this child, he matched. They're supposed to actually take you to, into accepting these things. They have no shame. And they're like, no, we're going to frame you. It's like, please do. Watch what happened to this child, your colleague. Watch, watch the future of a child that is involved in, in framing somebody. I'm telling you, not a good thing. With my profit. Prophet type of vision. I can see the child involved in framing somebody will have some issues in the future. To them, it's like, oh, yeah, okay. They use children and tell me that they're going to frame me. They live in a delusional world that's going to, the reality is going to come and it's going to hit harder than everything, anything I experience. Me, I'm going to have like theater like torture. Right? It's torture that is meant to cover up the reality. These people, when they're actually living, they have the opportunity to live a real life. That kind of comeback, that kind of things that come back from there, 
can be more devastating. It can be worse than anything I experienced. Because now, whatever I'm going to endure, I'm going to endure knowing that these people who are torturing me in different ways, castration, whatever this is talking about, are involved in programs that torture and kill women and children. And these entities that contract these slow lives are filled with pedophiles. And they do this perfect type of torture. And they torture a lot of women and children. And I'm thankful that I didn't have to live my life trying to make a man or a woman think in these disturbing ways and try to be like, no, we matched. We matched to you. We matched. We, we played this thing. We brought this place in. And then, then that's how you feel. Like if we do all of this in your brain, this is how you feel. We matched. I was like, well, okay. You just manipulate my brain. And then try to make me imaginations that are nonsensical. Can you imagine? Get you to imagine it's lifting a child, a little black girl, so that she's around you. Give me sensation stimulation, and it's like, you see, that's how you feel. No, that's how you make me imagine how I feel. And now, if I experience this thing, they will be stimulating me like, 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 never, like, disturbingly. And they even try to make me say something else. To try to counter reality, there's nothing real about it. these people are just creating a, a fantasy. They're like, oh, uh, like, like never before said so before, you're, pff, you're okay. They try, they try to make me say this. They're children. Sorry, they're not children. They are making themselves have a logic of children to agitate you, to gaslight you. Because these people now force you to experience disgusting stimulations, perceptions. And they, I I'm, I'm understanding why they have colleagues as children. Because do you need this kind of intelligence or logic? This, this people's strength is the ability to be logical. It's their biggest strength. Ability to be shameless. Biggest strength. This low life. I can never let them live their fantasy. So I know every time I'm going to look at a child, somehow, in some ways, they're going to do some perfect type of torture. And then try to make you subscribe and all try to create a dialogue. You see that little girl that you see in the last video, banded and all over on her head. They like try to make me out, oh, but she's like older, she's young, and it'll be real. Like, <sighs> try to get you to accept these things. Tell my target vision, whatever re retardation of bottles they try to create in my brain. Right now, there's one bottle. They're like, when you're saying, because they try to make me say the estimation that I'll never fail before or something like that. Right? It's like, oh, so you felt something before. Well, they were, that's what they were trying to make me say. Uh, that's what I stopped myself because I know they've tried to create some like back and forth. Then they, 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 they try to go with that. It's like, oh, we got it. Try to annoy you. They force you to experience all this nasty stimulation that you experience. All of this is what they make you experience. All the stimulations that you have toward children that they force you to experience. This is them forcing you to experience that. From the perceptions, the stimulation, the sensations, all of that is them. None of that is naturally happening to me. Not a little bit, not a lot. All of that is what they force you to experience. And you got to be understanding and, and of yourself and understanding how this bottom feel is. They use the weakest low lives to break you down. This, you know, this funny, she said, you're strong. This is a child that could be crying if I called her. You are a trash in front of her she'll be like oh. she'll stop crying and she's like yes child i wish i could record the voices of the people who's talking to me and like you are dying i was like i'd rather be dying because you're not living you you have to hear the feet to k voices of these children or this weak little life i don't know if they're children this slow life if my death is like that oh my gosh I would be terrified to live their life. They sound weak as I'm dying. Fraudulent. I know that they torture children and women. I know they do the perfect type of torture. I know why they contract weak little life like them. Because these people will be doing this to children and women. Cowards of, the, of, of, of a level that you never understand. And they like to, to agitate me by calling me, by saying they, they dared. Far from that, the opposite, they are the face of cowardness on the earth. They are truly, a, a, they should be in the Guinness book for the cowardness that they, they, they live in. 
they are truly cowards that of a level that it will never be understood. Truly cowards. No life cowards, delusional cowards that others have called as cowards. That work for pedophiles and that have been empowered by these pedophiles. And now this cowardness will always follow them for the rest of their life. They can never do it. They will never, they can never wash off that cowardness. To all my target individual, stay strong because this coward little life will try to break you down. And they're the weakest too, of course. It's like biblical. The weakest of the weak will try to break you down. This weak low life. I, truly weakness. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I've seen one of these people, like, oh my gosh. You see her eyes, she's like scared of me. I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't even, oh my gosh. Sheesh. <laughs> like, if these people die 10 years from now, they'll still be younger than me. When I die. <laughs> Weakness. But that's good. I'm glad they sold it. So now they're going to have to understand how life comes back when you involve yourself in things that are so nasty, so disgusting, just because it was the easy way. It's the coward way of living life. They wanted to enjoy this kind of like power. There's a price for it. You work for pedophiles, you do this perfect type of torture, you torment people, including women and children, you try to force a grown man or woman to think in these disturbing ways and you think life is gonna be okay. You do. If, this, if something happens to them 10 years from now, they, I'm still younger than them. I'm still older than them. You understand? And they're like, oh, they're gonna wait for you. It's like, and then what? Then you're gonna watch me torture and die, and then what? What's gonna change in your life? Weakness, cowardness. Me, I just thank God that I didn't have to live this low lifeness. I'm thankful that I was now in play, put in this program in that fashion, and I just, that's all I can be thankful for. So, to all my target individual, regardless of whatever status you are in life, this trash. They use chill, like I wish I could just show more pictures of these people. Oh my gosh. I just, I feel bad for them at this point. When you see them, I feel bad for them. That's how, these people who torture me like this, who make me feel like I can never even look at a child without, in this, when I see them, I feel bad for them. I feel sorry for them. It's like, oh my gosh, it's that pathetic. I start feeling sorry for these people who do these nasty things. I truly, I look at them like, you are so pathetic. It's just so, so sad. And you're doing these nasty things. I'm the one dying. To all my target individuals, stay strong. Because this is the things they do.